Welcome back, folks. My next guest is one of the top mentalists in the world, and today he is here to amaze us. Please welcome Wayne Hoffman. Hey, Wayne. Hey. What's up, brother? Nice to see you. My pleasure. Now, a lot of people like me don't really understand what mentalism is. What is it? It's a weird word, yeah. So, so a mentalist is basically someone that uses psychology for entertainment. Okay. So it's using uh, hypnotism, uh, sociology, psychology, and figuring out a way to make that fun, cool, and weird. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what, when, when did you notice that you had this ability? Uh, it's not something that I, I wasn't struck by lightning and then all of a sudden I could do this. I didn't notice it. It's actually something I worked really hard to do. It's, it's, uh, like I said, it's studying body language reading, interrogation techniques used by the FBI. I throw in a little magic, a little theater to make it fun. So over the years, I, I, it's been developed, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, right. I get it. Yeah. Now, can you show us something? Let's do it. So, right. so we have some stuff here. Uh, basically in a moment, you're going to be drawing an image, uh, and I'm going to see if I can get in your head and figure it out. So, uh, now, there's no way I could know the image, and I want to make something clear. You didn't write anything down beforehand, and nobody would know whatever's in your mind. It's no. something you, is uh, random. So pick up a marker, okay. uh, start drawing, uh, and I'm going to see if I can watch you. Just look at me for a second. Let's roll. Uh, ooh, I got an, actually, I got something else. It's like a grid with lines. I see like a music note in your mind or something weird, but that's not what I'm getting. I'm getting something like this, like a... Uh, like a, uh, like, pardon me, I'm not really an artist. I used to draw as a kid. I can't, I'm not very good it's either. It's something, <laughs> it's something like, like this, like something like this. So now I don't know what you drew. I can't see there's no monitors, but let's find out. And uh, this is where I get nervous because you can never know. I'll say Pick before, your... before you show it, I will say this. That there's, this was so random. There's no way that you drew what... I got something from you, and I just want to say, if, I'm, if it's close, I'm happy. Okay. So we're going to turn them around and uh, show each other on three. You okay. ready? Yes. One, two, and... Oh, come All on. right. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> oh, I do three olives. I, I got, got, there's no way, I don't drink, so yeah. why would I draw a martini? It yeah. came into my head. You were in my random. hand, that's creepy, I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Gosh. So, yeah. What, is, is there any, how do you top that? Is there something we should do next? Well, you know what, let's do that. In fact, it's, it's, it's one thing when you have your mind ready, you're the host of the show, but we're gonna, I'm gonna try to actually read the minds of some of your audience members. Okay. So let's do it too. So this is your chance right here. Uh, so everybody uh, has thoughts in their mind and obviously all thoughts are gonna be different. So I just want you to listen, listen for your name, your initials or something that makes sense and I'm gonna see if I can get in your heads. Let me start from the top. Where's the person with the initials A-W? They were actually just about, they were going to think of something about their beach towel, I love my beach towel, and then they changed it to a person from their past. If that makes sense, raise your hand. If, uh, there's a person here. Can we get a mic up there? We're going to see if we can get into your head. And, and, and just tell me your first name. Amy. Amy. Now, I don't know you personally. We don't hang out on weekends. No. No, I didn't pay you money to be here. No. We don't date yet? No. <laughs> okay, cool. No, I have a girlfriend. I, I, uh, think of whatever it is right now. First of all, is it a male, a man? Yeah. And I'm getting four letters. Are you thinking of somebody named Todd? <laughs> yes. Come on. Cool, give her a round of applause. <laughs> Let's get another one. Where is, I know, man. He talks about getting in your head. You got to be careful because he doesn't get out. <laughs> Where get is, out of my head. No, I, 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 there, I got stuff out of your mind we won't talk about. So <laughs> where's the person, thanks for the rim shot, where's the person with the initials, um, I'm getting something like DM, and they're thinking of their- Deborah Messing's here! Uh, uh, Deborah Messing's here! <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting something. I'm getting something about where they went on their honeymoon. If that makes sense to you, raise your hand. There's a lady here in the center. One, two, three, four, five, six, maybe six, seven rows back. We're gonna hand you a microphone. Just tell me your first name. Diane. Diane, and I don't know you personally. We never hang no. out. I don't. You're not related to me. Okay. Think of whatever it is. First of all, I'm seeing you're in a tropical place, a sunny place. Does that make sense? Yes. Now most honeymoons are, but you stayed in the U.S. Did you? First of all, were you married in June? Yes. Okay, time Bond. out. You, I sense this. Here's what I'm getting. Did you honeymoon in Southern Florida? Yes. Was it Fort Lauderdale? Yes. Were you, now, now, if I were to send you an anniversary card and it were arrive, if it were to arrive on your doorstep on June 5th, would that be right? Was that when yes. you were married? That's right? Yes. Cool. Give her a round of applause. We'll do one more. I know, man. <laughs> 
So let's keep it rolling. Um, let me try this. Where's the person with the initials? I feel like the initials are TR, and they're think they actually have a number in mind that ends in zero zero. Uh, if that makes sense, you raise your hand right here in the blue. If we can get a microphone, cool. Again, just tell me your first name. Tara. Tara, right, where are you from? Uh, Long Island. Long Island. Okay, concentrate on your thought now. Now, just for the sake of time, I want you to tell me out loud your area code. 516. 516. That's a Long Island area code, yes. I presume. Do me a favor. I see... Because uh, I'm getting... Yeah, I'm getting something. You have your... I see people have purses and phones. One of two things is about to happen. Your name again? Tara. Tara, it didn't change? No. Tara? <laughs> that is correct. Uh, one of two things are about to happen. I'm one of them is I'm about to check out. This is <laughs> creeping me out. Because I'm, I'm getting it's a phone number. Um, I'm either going to call you or I'm going to call a complete stranger and have to explain to them that I'm a mind reader. So do me a favor. Hold that microphone near your phone and cross your fingers. It's ringing. Oh, my. Is your phone ringing? Do me a favor. Answer it. So to make sure, and into the phone, say, Wayne, you're amazing. Wayne, you're amazing. <laughs> don't touch that's me, don't that, come near that's me. That's the heavy stuff, that's man. an invisible wall. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Wayne, so, thank you, thank you so, yeah. so much. You Wayne's book, Mind Candy, is available now. And everybody here is going home with a copy of his DVD, Secrets to a Super Memory. We'll be right back. That's crazy.